Hey, this is Nancy Ellen at the Crafty Yarn Barn, and I'm so excited. This is my first episode of Crochet Talk with you guys. I have made videos for a short period of time. I really enjoyed it, and a couple of my videos have had really good success, so I thought maybe it'd be fun to do a Crochet Talk video, let you know what I'm working on, projects that are works in progress, whips, things that I've finished, some of my tips, tricks, hacks, some maybe product reviews, and I decided that I really, really enjoy this channel, making this channel for you. Um, I started crocheting years ago when my boys were getting older and they didn't need me as much. They're hanging out with their dad a lot more and I decided, well, I think I need to learn how to do something for myself. So I learned how to crochet, how to sew, embroidery, all on YouTube and I saw a lot of channels I've watched hours and hours of channels actually on YouTube. Some of them quality of those channels weren't really great and the tutorials were difficult to follow along with and I was like, well, I could do better than that. I think I can make videos that people that are just starting out learning to crochet, learning how to love crochet, really desiring to, to get better at the hobby or the craft that they're doing, I think that I could maybe help them make it a little bit easier journey along the way. So this is how this channel was born. And I'm really excited to um, bring you today's video. And if it's a success and something that you want to continue to see, please subscribe and like, comment down below. Let me know if you want more videos like this, I'd be more than thrilled to do that for you. And the first thing I want to show you and get started is one of the projects that I just recently completed. It's a little granny rectangle baby blanket. I love making baby blankets. And this is my most recent tutorial that I've uploaded to my channel. And let me get it for you. It is Darlin. I love these colors. Check it out. I was a little skeptical when I first started, when I looked at that skein of yarn, um, all the colors on there, I was a little skeptical of what it would look like as a finished product, but I really fell in love with it as I started crocheting it up. Check how fun that looks. To me, it looks like cotton candy or lollipops. You know, it's just really fun, really pretty. Um, the yarn that I use, let me get my glasses, hopefully there's no glare for you in the video but um, it's Lions brand yarn and I'll give you a little bit more details and links below to the tutorial that I made but it's a Lions brand yarn the name of this yarn is Tutti Fruity and it's a um, let's see a lightweight yarn number three lightweight and it's just uh, such a precious little blanket and I made a ruffle border on it also show you in that tutorial how to, to crochet up this ruffle border. But isn't that precious? All my blankets that I make, I'll give them all away. So this actually is going to be going to um, one of my friends is having a baby. And this is actually going to be going to her as a little a gift when she has her baby shower. So I just wanted to show that to you and just let you see how precious that is. It was really fun to make and it really crocheted up really quickly. It's a granny stitch basically and you're just making it into a rectangle. So check that out, I love it. I actually, my little nieces, I think I might make them some type of scarf or um, a hat or something for Christmas out of this yarn because it just is so fun and bright and it's just happy. Every time I look at it, it just makes me happy. So check that tutorial out. I'll check those links out in below. So that was really fun to make. And it was easy to beginner level. Um, I, I think I give pretty good tutorials every step along the way. So um, if you're a beginner, I don't think you'll have a problem learning how to make this. So check that out. My next project that I just recently finished, now this project took me a long time to make. Not difficult, it's beginner level, but <laughs> it was tedious. When I started it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be quick. I'm gonna get this blanket done fast. But it took me about two months. And it wasn't that it was hard to make, 
it just became tedious to me. The whole blanket is single crochet out of um, baby yarn. I think it's a three uh, weight yarn. Um, let me get it for you real quick. Okay, this blanket is for a little boy, as you can tell, blue. You know, duh, right? But isn't it precious? It reminds me of flannel, sort of, and how it, the texture of it, um, or like long john material, sort of, but it is so soft, it's so light, and it, it actually turned out darling. I really loved it. But I'm telling you, this blanket got on my nerves. Um, not that it was hard, it just took so long. I would just get bored. Single crochet, constantly single crochet. I'm the type, I like to switch it up. I like to have try lots of different things. So in the process of making this blanket, I probably completed four other projects. I would do about four or five rows and then put it to side and start another project and finish it. And along the way, every day I would do about four or five rows. I think this came out to around 90 rows of single crochet, but I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial for you because it's really precious. Would I do it again? I guess I, I would. I actually bought some pink yarn. Um, it's this Bernat Baby Sport yarn. And the colors that I used, where my glasses go? Oh, here they are. This is, well, where? Golly gee. Oh, Baby Blue. And this is Funky Prince. So it's the Bernat Baby Sport yarn. Um, I bought the pink as well. I bought some pinks and I think I'll go ahead and make a pink one But while I'm doing it, I'll probably finish four or five other projects But in the end, I'll be super pleased with the results and I know you will too So don't get discouraged with what I'm telling you. I just wanted to be upfront with you. This may take a while So if you're about to have a baby be born and you want to hurry up and whip something up This is not the project for you Probably when you find out they're pregnant at three months in, you probably need to go ahead and start this blanket because you're probably going to get bored with it and want to put it aside and you just need to come back to it and finish it. So just trying to be honest and forefront there, but this turned out really precious. So I'm really, really pleased with the end results, but I'm going to go ahead and start making a video on how to make this blanket um, next week. As soon as I finish the work in progress that I have going right now, I'm almost finished with this video and I'll show you what it is right now. It's my big project bag. But this blanket, I am in love with it. I'm in love with it. Let me put it over here, everything to the side. Let me get a drink real quick. Do you love my little cup, my coffee mug? My husband and my son's bought a whole set of all these different types of mugs. For Christmas for me and this is my cow mug it's got the little udders on the bottom in that darling I think they got them at Pier 1 so if you're interested in a cow coffee mug I'll put a link down below but I love these I got a pig and a cat and uh, they gave me a frog that's sort of random isn't it anyway this blanket totally in love with this I love crocheting with Bernat um, baby blanket yarn or Bernat blanket yarn. I like to say Bernay. Sounds a little more fancy. But um, I love using this yarn because the projects crochet up so quickly. You're using those bigger hooks. And if I do baby blankets out of this, you can complete a project easy within a week to two weeks if you're crocheting a little bit every day. Um, I love, 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 love this yarn. It's so soft so cozy and comfortable um, so cushy and and thick but this blanket i hope you can see it in the light um, it's vertical stripes check it out i saw a blanket someone was making or maybe it was a scarf and it had a brick pattern sort of like a checkerboard pattern and they used three different colors of yarn and then looking at it i was like isn't that cool i could do something making stripes if just using two colors of yarn I wonder what it would turn out to be and and what it turned out was these vertical stripes I probably should have picked a darker contrasting color so you could see the stripes better I don't know that it's great for a tutorial 
but I did make one a uh, tutorial video on how to make this blanket I'm almost finished with it um, I don't have much to go maybe about 10 more rows and I don't think that I'm gonna do a border I really like how the edging has turned out on this I don't think I'm gonna do a border usually I like to do borders on all of my blankets I just like how finished how finished they look in the end it, it just tops it off and, and makes that blanket pop but on this one I don't think I, I'm gonna do that I really like how soft and feminine it turned out to look and to be and it's just kind of like looks like a marshmallow sort of pink and white marshmallow but I love it so I'm almost done with it I hope I have the video out on this blanket by the end of next week it's just life happens you know it's just taking me a little bit to get this this tutorial done I don't know why just things keep happening like right now we have a hurricane coming and we're in Louisiana Hurricane Barry I think they call it so if you hear some thunder and lightning don't be alarmed it's just the hurricane all right so but I love this I don't know what I would call this pattern just it looks like bricks vertical brick stripe I don't know we'll see it's coming out though subscribe and and turn on that bell notification so when it does come out you'll get notified and you can check it out as well but I think that everybody really likes using this yarn because the blankets that I have already uploaded the tutorial it's really done well so be on the lookout check it out it's coming your way something for you to look forward to now we're going to switch gears I just showed you some finished projects videos I'm working on you can be looking forward to works and projects whips now I'm going to show you my most recent crochet fail wah, wah, wah. okay here it is and it's a big old mess okay when I saw this yarn I was like oh I love it I love this yarn this is the Bernat uh, Bernay yarn inspirations it's pipsqueak yarn okay I love the feel of it it's so soft and I could just imagine a sweet little baby just cozying up in this sweet little yarn and you just snuggled up and then the smell of a little baby oh and it just sucked me in and I bought some okay and I've just had a big old mess I've had to frog this stuff like and frog means rip it out I've had to rip this yarn out at least five times it is irritating me to death but I'm not gonna let this defeat me no I will not I'm going to make a blanket with this if it kills me I think I have figured out what I'm doing wrong and be on the lookout because if it's the last thing I do I will make a blanket out of this it will look beautiful and you will have a tutorial because if I'm having this much trouble I imagine that you are as well but I can only just I can just feel that this will turn out to be something beautiful in the end one day when I can figure out what the heck I'm doing wrong so that's the challenge and when I figure it out you will be the first to know and the first to see the results so right now though this is my big wah -wah, crochet fail and um, that's really all I got to say about that because it just irritates me so if you have had the same problems please comment down below and we'll see if we can figure this out together and make this something beautiful of something that we're proud of so that's the big crochet fail going right now all right so next thing is tips tricks and hacks my most recent hack that I just love is something that my husband helped me with yes he did my honey bear this is my most recent hack that I just love okay so this initially was a big thing of snack mix that we got at the store I think we got it either at Walmart or Sam's Club but it had pretzels and all kinds of little snack Cheetos and all kinds of stuff in here peanuts and everything so I was thinking that I wanted to I saw in I think Michaels one of those yarn holders 
it was plastic it had a hole in the top and it's like oh wouldn't that be great that when we go on trips or we go camping or hunting or I'm um, just sitting out watching the kids when they're playing baseball football um, I can sit and crochet while they're doing that and watching them play whatever the case may be but my yarn falls on the ground it just rolls around and I don't want to get dirty so we ate some snack mix and I was like wouldn't that be great instead of me buying for 20 or 30 dollars one of those big plastic tubs that holds your yarn it's like if I clean that out and I got my husband I washed it out bleached it out cleaned it out it doesn't smell anymore I cleaned it probably five six times and I gave him the top of it and I told him I want him to screw me a hole right in the middle of that sand it down so there's no rough edges and what I he did that for me and what I do is I will drop my yarn and it only really works the best for the yarn where the yarn comes right out of the middle so you drop it down in there pull your yarn out the middle and stick that yarn right through that hole screw it on and crochet away just there you go and I'm able to sit and put this between my feet I've sat in stands playing when the kids were playing baseball tournaments where you're there for six hours eight hours watching them play ball and I was able to crochet my yarn didn't get a mess it didn't roll around on the ground and my project I just stuck it down in a bag and kept my project nice and clean and no issues and look at that isn't that awesome the only thing is if you're changing yarn a lot you will have to clip it take the lid off put in another piece of your uh, skin of yarn and pull it through so but I love this it's particularly on projects where you're crocheting big projects with one skin of yarn where there's not a lot of changing this works really great so that's my most recent tip trick hack that I have for you so check it out love it thanks to my honey love him too the most recent purchase that I've made is a crochet a book okay and I was looking for a book with patterns for one skein of yarn quick projects I like to make a list of things that I'm going to make and give away as gifts for Christmas every year I'll have to start ahead of time because I have so many people that I want to make gifts for. I try to make gifts instead of buy gifts. Not that you know we can't afford to purchase gifts. I just love making things and giving it to people. Whether they enjoy receiving it or not, I'm not sure. But I really get this great satisfaction out of making a hat or a scarf or, or a blanket for someone and then give it, gifting that to them. I just love it because during the time of making it, I think of them, I say prayers for them and I'm just making it special for them and I hope they get that same feeling of joy when they receive the gift not sure um, but that's how I feel I rarely keep things that I've made um, I've only kept this blanket here this red white and blue blanket I've kept it I just didn't give it away I just kept it for myself and that is really the only thing um, the only other item that I've crocheted and kept myself was some dish rags that they didn't come out the way I wanted them to and they looked actually I mean quite frankly they look like crap so I kept them for myself and started over and made it better where I was a little more proud of the end product and I gave that away so I kept some crappy dish cloths that I made but this is the bl blanket here the only one that I've ever made and just kept the item for myself um, so I wanted to get something with one skein projects and I found this book right here check it out I contacted these people and asked them if it was okay if that featured their book and they gave me permission so I was really excited about that they responded within a day I was so shocked you know my little channel of 300 subscribers and they responded quickly and they said sure so this is my most recent featured item that I want to show you my little favorite thing and I love looking at uh, patterns you know some people love to read cookbooks and just for the sake of reading them I love to read patterns and look at the pictures and and just dream about what I'm gonna make so this thing here 
It's called Crochet One Scheme Wonders. It's edited by Judith Durant and Eddie Ekman. It's 101 projects from crocheters around the world. Isn't that cool? So they just um, put all these projects together and put the patterns in here. It gives really beautiful pictures of, an, of a project that they made using the pattern, a description, the pattern, a written pattern, as well as the diagram pattern for you to follow if you like to do that. It gives you size measurements, recommendations of yarns to use, the gauge, all the supplies that you're going to need to make. And let me show you a couple things that are in here that I really thinking about making that I think that um, it's going to be something that I consider. I saw this little crochet, uh, this little bag with a little drawstring back. I thought that was darling. It's one of my little nieces, I think that she would love something like that. I saw a these little fingerless gloves, several patterns for some fingerless gloves. Check those out. I love those. Particularly, um, we sit outside a lot. The kids playing sports, and we go to football games. We go um, camping and hunting, stuff like that. And I would love some fingerless gloves, and I know some of my family members would too. And there's also things in here like this little elephant baby bib. Isn't that darling? Made out of cotton. I think I might make that. They did give me permission to pick one or two to give a demonstration and um, promote their their book a little bit. So I think those are some projects that I'm going to be working on. Look at little baby caps. Love that. This is a cute little book. Cute. Totally. Seems like the patterns are so easy to follow. They seem to be beginner to intermediate. Um, there's nothing really advanced. Nothing seems really so hard to do that a beginner or an intermediate couldn't do. There's even some amiguri. I'm not sure if I say that right, but there's a little, it's supposed to be a lobster, but since I'm from Louisiana, I call it a crawfish. Check that out. So this is my fave for the week and um, for the month actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some out and see if there's something in here that I think that would really go over well for a tutorial and um, make that video for you. They gave me permission to do so, so I'm really excited about that. My first little project that I'm gonna work on to be able to feature somebody else, so I think that's really cool. And I'm, you know, take that um, responsibility to heart, so I'm really super excited. I wanna do a good job for them. I mean, they're not paying me, not sponsoring me or anything, but you know, when you're, when you're doing work for others, that's gonna reflect on them. I really find that to be a, a you know, a big responsibility. So I want to do a good job for them. So really excited about this little project that I've got going on. So that seems to be it today. You know, nothing big going on here right now other than weather in the storm, the hurricane coming through. So if you're in Louisiana, I hope you stay dry. I hope you stay safe. I hope there's no flooding and winds or tornadoes going on around in your area. So my prayers go out to you. God bless. And you have a wonderful day and consider please subscribing and liking my channel and checking out some videos that I've already made and uploaded. I look forward to doing more videos and crocheting with you in the future. So I'll see you soon and have a great, wonderful day. Bye guys.